What was the first poem I wrote? Uh, officially, the first poem I wrote is one, it's in the book actually, and it's the first poem in the book. So it's one I wrote when I was eight, and it was about litter picking, and it's a nice one about rainbows and how the world should be cleaner. Um, but there is actually another one that my mum found that I'd aged at age seven, I think which started with the line, my dad is a stupid twat. But I didn't put that one in the book. <laughs> so, yeah. so there's one that makes me look like I really care about the world and one that makes me look like I'm angry with my whole family. <laughs> so yeah, those are the first two. Those are the first two poems that I have on paper evidence of. <laughs> I think, well, I was going to say when, when other people do, really, I think it's just reading kids' poems, really, or my mum. I didn't get that much poetry read to me, but I remember my mum used to read me, like, Please, Mrs Butler, I think was the first collection of poetry that I absolutely loved, and I used to read it over and over again. Um, so, yeah, just like, just that sort of Colin West, Roger McGough, that kind of funny, rudish kids stuff. I, I'm not sure which poets first inspired me to write. I hadn't, if I'm honest, I hadn't really read a lot of poetry until about two years ago. So I'd been working for like four years as a, I guess, professional poet or touring poet or whatever you'd call it. Um, but the first, the first lyrics I got really obsessed with were Courtney Love in Hole, the band Hole, and I used to print out her lyrics and try and write my own lyrics to the same music and it was terrible. And, um, and also MC Solar, this like French rapper I got very obsessed with and used to try and translate all of his stuff. And then another, um, Incubus. I had a French boyfriend that I used to try and translate stuff from English into French. So I got quite obsessed with like song lyrics um, and kids, kids like funny poetry, like I said before. Um, and I think, I don't know who inspires me now. I don't just get inspired by poets. I'm just inspired by anyone really doing, doing, doing anything. I don't know, I get inspired by a lot of stuff. Um, I think the, the poet that, whose book I most enjoyed this year, I've been trying to read more poetry because I feel like I want to and I should, um, is probably Andrew McMillan. So I read his book, Physical, and it's, I think it's the first poetry book as an adult that I've actually read from front to back and really felt like I loved it, so yeah. No, I don't think so. I think, I don't know, I, I mean, I don't know enough about it maybe to comment, but from what I speak to my, my sort of 91-year-old gran about it, it seems quite similar. I don't think, I'm, I mean, I do lots of, I get classed as a sort of spoken word poet a lot, and a lot of people see that as a kind of platform to get messages across or get political opinions across, and I don't really. I just feel like there's enough space for people to write about what the hell they want, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not like poetry is taken over the pop charts. I'm sure there's space for everyone to do a little bit. So I think poetry is just whatever the person writing it wants it to be. And some of it might express an opinion, some of it might express the outline of a vase. Like, I don't, I don't think one's more important than the other. I guess for me, subject matter is probably the most important. I'm sure with, uh, with I'm sure it's not the same with everyone. I know there are poets that I know who it, it's like a, a total love of language which makes them write and I know friends of mine that take two years to write one poem and they want to craft it with exactly the right words and but that's it's not really me I guess I feel like I've got something I want to talk about or not something I want to talk about something that's in my head and I kind of blurt it out onto the page sometimes I I would like to be like that and think more about the craft but yeah I think for me it's more it's more subject-based rather than the form of the poem. Um, I don't, I don't really get poets block because I only, I've only ever written poems when I've got a poem in my head. So I, there's not one time in my life where I thought what I'm going to do today is sit down and write a poem. And I think if I did, then I probably would have poets block. So yeah, I was, I was thinking this the other day, thinking like I, I normally write about three poems a, a week, I reckon. So and. I've done that since I was about 12, I guess. Um, and I think if I stop thinking of things to write about, I'd just stop doing poetry, really. I'd just get another job. <laughs> like, I'm not, if I've got nothing else to say, then I'm not gonna write stuff down. Yeah, I'm done. I'll go back to coaching kids football. <laughs> My 
happiest memory from a reading was either um, I was on tour like three years ago and I was at the Oran Moor in Glasgow, which I love as a venue, but all my family are Glaswegian. And um, the audience was so lovely and lots of my family were there, which I don't normally like. But afterwards, when I was selling stuff, my aunties and my cousins all stood behind me in the line and basically shouted at anyone that didn't buy the thing. So I sold about 200 CDs out of an audience of 220 people and my auntie got asked to leave by the bouncer because she was being so, um, so, <laughs> I don't know, so loud. So I think, not because I sold stuff, but it was just quite a funny gig. Um, that was probably my best memory of a gig. <laughs> My work, I don't know, I haven't really got a worse one. It's like a real honour to do this job. I don't know, my mum's a nurse. I'm sure she's got, like, really <laughs> bad days that she's had. Yeah. But I think, really, I, I, I like, I love it. I go to places where people ask me to read poems. And, I, you know, obviously, some people don't like it. I've been shouted at on stage before, been heckled. That wasn't very nice, but I still... Probably not as bad as doing a smear test. <laughs> I don't know. I, I still think one of my favourite poetry collections is Please Mrs Butler, so I guess I'd have to recommend that one. I just think it's brilliant, and I still, like, my gran loves it, my mum loves it, now I read it to my daughter, she loves it. So I, I, I think that's the first one I'd recommend to anyone. Yeah, stop taking it too seriously and criticising yourself too much, I'd say. I find it quite fascinating. I do quite a lot of workshops with younger people, and, um, if any, any of them say, oh, I've written something that's really good, like, this is really good, miss, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be great. Not really. <laughs> well, not going to be great, but it's not very thought through. Whereas all the people that are like, oh, mine's rubbish, I don't, you know, mine's terrible. If you've got that thought, don't let it, like, overtake you. Just think that it's terrible, that's great. You've got a, you know, that's quite a modest thing. I think it's quite a nice trait in people. Um, but don't then think that you should stop writing. I just think keep writing and keep reading and keep doing things that are going to give you experiences that you're going to actually want to write about. Yeah, so don't get too, too worried about it and try and have fun with it, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know if I'd call myself a young writer, so I don't know really what I would have done differently. Like, I, I only started really telling anyone I wrote poems when I was about 25. Um, but I, I just wrote my diary in poems since I was like 12, so I don't know if I was a young writer, I don't think I would have done anything differently, apart from maybe reading back on the poem some of my love life I might have done differently, but I think the actual writing, <laughs> like, I think, yeah, I d nothing, not in an arrogant way, but just, it was kind of who, who I was really. I think the only thing, a few of the poems I threw away, so I would maybe have not done that, but yeah, I'm quite happy that even the poems that I thought were absolutely terrible um, and that I'm so embarrassed about stuff I wrote now, I kept to look back and laugh on now in, late, in later years. <laughs>